Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 6th of May and today we are stealing the three parts of the Bader object as fast as possible. We are frail so we'll try not to get shot as per usual. We are X Glitcher which could come in handy. We've got a Conk Hammer, a self-charging key cloner, three slipstreams, and would you look at that, a Foundry Brick. Okay so the Foundry Brick Definitely does not let us get any zero second ones today, but it does allow us to get significantly closer to our target. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be bricking each of the three ships today before we set out to get on them ourselves. All right, let's uh, see what we have in store. We don't care about killing anyone. Uh, the main thing we potentially want to worry about is not having access to the final key. That's that's a very real point of uh, concern. So I want to make sure we take a quick, or not quick, but careful look. All right, so this I'm not 100% sure what to do about this. The safest spot. Uh, what would be the safest spot? So if we break this, we have access to this, and unless the key carriers are in this room, we can go in and get all the stuff, because it's, I think it's usually set up so that there's a locked door here and a locked door here. If we want it to be safer, we could potentially go here, and then even if the key card out here gets out, there's a chance we can key clone over here. We can even undock and get out and maybe quickly get the key cloner, but you know, at that point, we're starting to lose a lot of time. Hmm, I could try to go this way, but I'm not very good at going from the front. There's an alarm response time. I didn't think about that. Sixty seconds is enough for us to probably do this. Where's the pilot? The pilot is right here. So we can take them out and eliminate the alarm response time. Hmm. All right, this is going to be uh, a bit experimental. Um, I'm actually going to go out with the pod. Okay, so it's 60 seconds alarm response time, so it's orbiting something. So it's got to be orbiting this. Okay, I'm gonna go with this, hop out, remote control, and try and do this before oxygen goes out. Is that a good idea? That seems like not a good idea, but I'm gonna do it anyways. You can't tell me what to do. This is uh, gonna be very awkward. <laughs> Okay, still have some more time to go. All right, somewhere around here. Okay, let's try this. So, my target is this. And that's very dangerous. If Now, I'm I'm leaving you out here because I'm actually counting on Trying to come back, catch myself, and then get to the ship. This is a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. All right, so actually I'm going to go for this, which is one left of the red room. We're going to go with this. Ah, 
Of course it bonked. Let's try being out much further and just relying on getting a bunch of speed. There we go. And we got our targets. Um, that is bad. <laughs> yeah. It really was a better idea to go for this one. Oh man, that would have been perfect. I could steal the key. Okay, <clears throat> so what are our options here? First thought, we can... Oh, can you... Can you steal keys from dead bodies? I think they dropped the keys. I don't know if the keys persist out in space. So first thought is fix the ship, catch myself, come back here, and then attempt to key clone this guard. That's going to be very difficult to find them, though. Second thought, I can catch myself. Dock here, take out the pilot. That removes our timer. Well, the, the 60 second timer. And then we can probably, yeah, probably just get them to somehow go to this door and open it up for us. Anything else? Um, also, along with that option, we can check for crates around here. Uh, subverter is... Subverter or a glitch trap? Or a visitor? Or a swapper? There's several good things that could help us get in there. All right, so all right, so we'll fix the ship or the fix the pod. See if we can still see where they are. Don't press S. All right, so keep an eye on this area. Hold A, hold D. So the ship is going down here, so the area that I want to look towards is about here. Wow, it is silent. Okay, let's see if we can still see the bodies anywhere. Okay, so I want to be around here. I am not liking the chances of this one. Oops, is that something? Nope, just dense stars. Let's see. All right, I... I'm about to give up on this one. All right.
All right, that is all for that one. And no, I oh no, I just noticed a repeating of the stars. No. Oh well. Uh, all right. So that option is out. Next, we pick ourselves up. Is there noise? Is there no noise? It's just really quiet. Okay, there it is. We got plenty of oxygen and we've got, I think, plenty of time. Okay, 46 seconds, we got our music back, and then I still want to try... So, we just need to get on the ship within, like, 42 seconds. And even that is more than enough with our slipstreams. So, I'm gonna take time to try and get on this quick. Let's see, 46 seconds. Oh, yeah, by this time... The people that got launched out into space are already dead. So there's a good chance that we can't even loot them. I should have backed up more for optimal stuff, but oh well. Of course, we docked on the wrong spot. So we got items that are very far away. Yeah, if we'd breached this spot, that wouldn't have been good enough. If this had been like an extreme range key cloner, then breaking this spot right here definitely would have been the best option. Because then I could very reasonably clone anywhere in here. Probably even long range would be fine. Okay, so we'll turn to pod. And doing all this with our dock, it's not even enough to do... It wouldn't have even been enough to do this in under 10 seconds, so maybe this is a... Maybe this is a fool's errand trying to do it like this. All right, we're not going to use the slipstream. Hey, come over here. How do we get them all the way over here, though? We can bonk them. Keep them moving over here. We just need them to open this door. Okay, that's as far as we're getting them, probably. Right there. All right. Let's let them shoot first. All right. And we bonk them towards the door. Oh God, if they shoot again, that's bad. Okay. Oh, we got the crate, so that's good, that's good. Uh, what do we have here? Not sure what it is. Possibly... St okay, stealth. Alright. Um, that should give me enough to be able to get out of here without being shot immediately at the very least. Hey, that worked out well. So, there's no way we're getting this in under 10 seconds. Um, to be honest... 
With how big this ship was, even if we approached it normally from the start, there was a very little chance of doing this in under 10 seconds. So, right now I have the chance of either leaving right now, or we can go back here and get both of these crates. We just need to steal this key. Oh boy, that is very long. But we can exit through this window, as long as we don't mess up the slipstream. Turn to pod. Head over here. Use the slipstream. Oh man, I need to be careful about pressing the right buttons. Alright, steal this key. Run straight over here. It's, uh, we're gonna have to be careful with this brick. Alright, so we're gonna undock, stop remote controlling it, so that it drifts away so that it doesn't auto dock. I don't want you... ...doing things. And I don't want you doing things. I have a loud weapon. A non-lethal if that becomes relevant. All right, things are looking good. You know, as as bad as that started out to be, uh, it really worked out in the end. Ooh, visitor. Oh, my, one second, I adjust my mic. Okay, it was leaning over just enough that it almost fell over just now. I don't think that's the best for audio quality. Alright, then we can just run out here. And yeah, that was way under 20 seconds. Okay. Well, not way under. So yeah, certainly, certainly would have been faster if we'd gone through it the normal way, but we got the same amount of points that we would have gotten. So, not a loss. Oh, it did take 18 minutes? Jesus. Okay. Uh, well. Let's see what we've got here. 40 seconds to escape. We did... See, we got on that last ship at like 38 seconds. So in theory, we've still got plenty of time to do the same thing on this one. But we did have a slow dock. If this is small, that's pretty small. So this is small enough, and we also have the visitor, that it's probably faster to just go through the ship and not brick it. Yeah, we we already we already took our big risk of the day for this one. Didn't quite pay off, but it wasn't the worst. What are you orbiting around? That looks like this one or this one. Probably this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so yeah, I think we have got a much better chance. Especially with more reliable docks. Yeah, so if this was a 60 second one, I think I would have done that again. That would have been a bad idea in this case, because we would have lost our E once again. But I would have tried it mainly for, I could definitely take extra time to be approached from really far away and get a better dock. 
problem with the last one was I started the approach from too close and didn't get up to speed fully. Um, alright. Do we go for a crate? Do we go for a crate? And do we start off with a visitor? We start off with a visitor, get a key, steal this with the key cloner, manually steal this one. Okay, is this being done in under 10 seconds? We have to leave the ship in two seconds, which means the visitor is our, our gate. So might as well use the visitor if we plan to get this under two seconds. Or un under 10 seconds. Well, do the ship in under two seconds to get under 10 seconds. We do have X glitcher, so we can go directly over here. That's pretty big. That means we don't have to use a key cloner here. Oh, we can go directly into here and then steal. No, I want to save the steel key. I want to save the key cloner for this. If I can get in here. Alternatively, we can go down here. I think they're roughly the same. All right, let's do this. Slipstream. Visit. Uh, start walking down here. Open the crate. Not worth it. Uh, silence could be relevant. All right, let's do this. This is going to be close. I screwed up because I used the thing that I said I was going to save for down here for some reason. And I may have screwed everything over. Oh, what if I blow this up? If I blow this up, that becomes a docking point. Okay, if it's looking like I won't make it, then I'll blow that up. It's looking like I won't make it. Okay. Let's use the left click because that is more reliable right now. Shoot you. Um, I need to time this right. Well, not really time it right, but I'm going to throw this at you. So that the ship doesn't start careening off. Yeah, there's no way this is going to work, right? There's no way. Yeah, I screwed up. I should have gone to here. Uh, I don't know if I would have had time to get that crate. All right, yeah. So, this is no longer happening in under 10 seconds, so now is the time to get that crate, I suppose. I'll just use bash dashing and try and be careful with this. This shouldn't shoot until we've actually gone through this door. Yeah, we're still at six seconds. Yeah, that would have been enough to get under 10. So yeah, even though it's marked right here, we're not counted on the ship until we pass this line right here. So try and dash this. All right, there we go. Deactivate. There goes that and probably most of that whole group 
crash beam. That could be relevant. Do we try and go after this one next? Eh, the only easy way to do that would be to use the slipstream. I don't want to use that. Yep, there they all go. And because I launched that out, I no longer need the key for that. All right, turned pod. Try and dock at this point. Okay, turn. There we go. We've got the crate. What does it do? It's a gun. And then we'll return to pod. And um, what's the best way to do this? I'll dock here. Turn to pod, and then we need to wait a sec so that we don't redock, and then we can leave. All right, 13 seconds is not the worst. Sadly, could have been under 10 seconds. Well, potentially. If I'd ignored that first crate, then I think it would have been under 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah, it definitely would have been. Oh, well. All right, final one. We've got armor everywhere. This time it is heavy reinforcements, so we don't need to worry as much. Actually, we've got an extreme range crash beam, which means we can deal with predators and trackers that come up as a result of our bombing. Uh, is there anything that we don't want here? I think they all have some value, and they're both more valuable than a shotgun. A second shotgun, especially. Alright. Let's get over closer. It's not orbiting anything. Target's right here, so we run the risk. Oh man, I wish we had a subverter. We do run the risk of... Losing... Hmm. Where's the telepad? If we can bomb the telepad, that can remove one more problem. Just one less thing to worry about. Telepad's right there. We are not bombing that. <laughs> Is it possible to bomb this section? Even if it was, that's insanely risky because we can just destroy the crate. So my thought is bomb this spot. That ensures that no one in here gets sucked out. And even if we can't reach their key with the key cloner, there's a good chance we can reach the key over here, which lets us get in here. If they were glitch dashing, then we could even use a loud weapon to get them to open the door for us. But that's not the case. Oh, we can visit. We have a visitor. Oh. Oh, that changes things. And it's effectively a long range visitor as well. So we can bomb here or we can bomb up here and we can just visit directly in if the key gets taken. Oh. All right, that is what we are doing. That is for sure what we are doing. Um, we don't have any stations to dock at, so we'll just match speed with it over here. And go out into space. Okay, I like that. Alright. Once again, that was some music that we don't hear all that often. 
Oh wow, that's a really gone off course. That's fine. Okay. Let's use slow-mo so we manage this without using too much, much oxygen. All right. I want to go out further because it's below us. We've got less screen space to line this up. So yeah, I'm thinking just aim for this. That's the safest spot. If we miss, we either go off to the side or we go there, which is just about as good. Potentially even better. If it opens up to this room, then that means we don't even have to use the visitor. So rather than aim for this room directly, I think I'll aim for in between the rooms. Go out a bit. Yeah, aim for in between the rooms because either one of them is good. If I aim for this, there's a chance I hit this one. So we're just going to aim for that. All right. All right, good enough. Okay, W. You need to keep in mind that I've got less time to do these because I've blown this spot up before. Luckily, holding slow-mo and pausing is an option. Alright, and since it's not going to dock anywhere, we have all the time to set up quick approach. Alright. Let's hope this does well. Okay, four seconds is... Oh. All right. Well, oh, we, we, we blew up the group of guards directly, it looks like. Either that or they were in there. Um, all right. Actually, with crew kill, uh, we took our time approaching so they could have died out in space. But we don't even need to use the visitor here. So that's quite nice. So, we will slipstream. And is there... Anything else we need to do here? No? All right. Just steal this. It's just a gun. And then return to pod. Should be safe to just leave this way. Yeah. All right. One of our crash attempts was, or brick attempts, was actually good. Yay! Okay, mm so we did that. And... Yeah, a 495 was definitely possible if we did ship two correctly. But I'm happy to get a 490 and I'm happy to have completed it as at all with how ship one could have gone. Uh, yeah, very nice. And yesterday, we ended up, oh, excuse me, with a 4D8. I believe yesterday was the one where we picked up a slipstream mid-game. And it was a no-harm day. That seems about right. Oh yeah, and we tossed her we tossed ourselves out of the window on the final ship because of the mouse being what it is. Alright. So, yesterday we came in first with 48 seconds, which was very good. Things could have gone very badly there at the end with the mouse misclick. We have Humbretto coming in second with a significant lead over third, which is Det Magner with a very strong lead over Zazaza in fourth with a very strong lead over DK Shul in fifth. Good job. Uh, wait. DK Shoal, maybe I've seen you up here before. If I have, it's been a while. Welcome to the top five. 
And congratulations to the top five and especially the top four for getting a perfect score on yesterday. Definitely one of the more difficult dailies. And that is all for today. Today's was a bit of a crazy one. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.